Hey guys, so Sinful Colors number 35 coming. <laughs> okay, so we're going to start off with one of the silver capped. And this one is Hot Chili. And I did see this one re-released not too long ago, but it had a black cap on it and now I can't find it anywhere. So, so this is like a mm, chili red <laughs> with some larger iridescent hex glitters does dry down kind of bumpy so you will want a good top coat there's the brush and let's go ahead and give it a swatch so here is one coat of hot chili you get some good glitter coverage with it As you can see, there is quite a bit of glitter. Okay. And there might be various sizes. There might also be like holographic in there. I don't know. It's hard to tell. Okay. <clears throat> Dig into my big old box of polish here. Let's pull out another one of these Crelly based ones. This one is Petal Be The Day, and it has a light purple Crelly base with blue glitters and the same color purple. Yeah, glitters in various sizes. I think this is the most sheer of the three. Petal Be The Day, Flower Power, and Standing Bloom Only. Pretty sure this is the most sheer. Okay, so let's go ahead and petal be the day, first coat, and yeah, you can see there's hardly not even any color coming on the wheel, and the glitter's a little bit harder to manipulate. <laughs> okay, next up. We have Hit the Dance Glow, which is this real pretty pink with some iridescent glitters going throughout it. And they flash like a blue. And you can see that they're kind of blue on that angle. Don't think this can become opaque, but here is one coat of Hit the Dance Glow. It's kind of got the same base as um, Zest of Time, sort of kind of a little bit more on the purpley side though, um, with just an addition of some more glitters in there. 
you can tell that they're iridescent because they're they're yellow. I don't like those with the iridescent glitters. They turn like yellow. Next, we have another one like Sheer Flight. This one here is, oh no, sorry, this one isn't. This one is called Rebel Rose. And it's just a pretty purple. Like a, I don't know, a lighter purple. It's kind of like a bluish silver flash to it. Okay, so here is one coat of Rebel Rose. But what other, whatever color they have going on in there for the flash, it's kind of making it look a little iridescent and glow a little bit. So that was Rebel Rose. Next up, again, courtesy of my buddy, my bestie, Stacy. This is Otaku Anime. And this is just a really pretty yellow shimmer. I like yellow polishes. Let's just say I like yellow. They don't like me. They just don't look good on my skin tone. Um, but it should kind of be like mind over matter. Because if it's a pretty color and it looks nice, I should just not give a shit and wear it and be done with it. <laughs> So here is Otaku's Anime's brush, and it's very pretty, very shimmery. Um, I don't know if this can be opaque or not. Let's go give it a shot. So here is one coat of Otaku Anime. Nice formula. Very nice formula. It's very shimmery. So that's always a plus. Next up, we have Pastered, or Pastered, Pastered, I guess, instead of Plastered, Pastered. And this was in a trio of graffiti. There was a red and black, and then there was one that looked just like one of the OPI Charlie Browns. Um, and I don't remember which one it is, because I don't, do I have it here? Um... I think it was called Color Tag, and it looked very similar to To Be or Not To Beagle. So, I didn't keep that one. I didn't keep the red one either. This one I kept because it's got a, it's a light matte blue. And then black glitters. So this one I kept. Because I don't have one like this. And I like blue. So I kept this one. And so, I mean, unless you get a lot of the blue on there, you're not going to see. Because the black, and you can see it on the, the stem there. I still might have the red and the other one. Because uh, I had it on my store Envy. I don't know if I sold them or not, but I closed my store Envy. Now, this is May, um, and right now I'm contemplating um, doing, like, an Instagram de-stash. I've been seeing a lot of them. I think they work pretty good. Um, so I, I'm contemplating that. So... <clears throat> Dependent upon, I know this isn't going to be up in May. This is going to be up more towards the end of the year, if not in 2017. So, um, I hope you guys check that D-Stash out. Um, I'll leave the link down below. If I can remember, let me put on my paper here. If not, you can always go to my normal um, Instagram at Polished Pony, and it'll be linked in the bio there. So, um, either way, you can get there. 
So let's go ahead with the second coat. And here is number two of hot chili. And as you can see, it does dry down just a little bit because of all that glitter in there. So you're going to want a nice top coat for it. So that was hot chili. And then we have number two of Petal Be The Day. And again, this is the most sheer out of the three. And you would probably want to put it over a color. Whether that color be a purple, whether it be a blue, or a white. But again, that's two coats of Petal Be The Day. And now we have our second coat of Hit The Dance Glow. Which again is more than likely a topper. Um, you could probably put three to four coats on if you'd like and it would get opaque. Um, other than that, pink, purple, red, white, whatever color you want. It would probably go good over Rebel Rose here. And speaking of, here is the second coat of Rebel Rose. And it looks to me in the viewfinder that it's a blue flash. So that's very pretty. Okay, now we have our second coat of Otaku Anime. Nice formula. Um, it's pretty opaque. You might want a third coat dependent upon, you know, your, your nail line and everything. And then lastly, we have Pastered. And this is just a topper. I mean, like I always say, anything can probably become opaque. It's all dependent upon you wanting to put the time and effort of sponging it all. So here is hot chili. Um, petal be the day. Hit the dance glow. All the yellow spots on there are iridescent glitters. Here is Rebel Rose. Hang on. I don't like when there's schmutz under my thing. Okay. So there is Rebel Rose. Then we have Otaku Anime. It's a very pretty yellow. All that shimmer. And then we have Pastered. Why does it look like there's holographic glitter in there? I'm not seeing it in the bottle, though. I don't think I'm seeing it on the brush. That's just a clear base. Hmm. That hollow must be on there from something else or it got mixed in somehow. Because I could see holographic glitter. Might have been from whatever was on there last. Okay, but that is pastered. So, again, guys, number 35 down. Thank you so much for sticking with me. I hope you are enjoying my collection series. I think we're getting into the new year. <laughs> um, or we will be shortly. Because I'm that far ahead. Um, we're winding down with the sinful colors. Um, yeah, so I hope you enjoyed. Hope you'll come back and watch number 36. And until then, have a great day, guys. Bye.